The Kimmerians were a nomadic people of the early Iron Age, known for their influence across the Eurasian steppes and invasions of the Middle East. They are believed to have originated in the Pontic Caspian steppe in the region north of the Black Sea, before migrating southward due to pressure from other steppe groups like the Scythians. The Kimmerians descended from the earlier Srubnea culture of the Late Bronze Age, which occupied the Pontic Caspian steppe. The Srubnea culture was part of the broader Andronovo cultural complex, associated with early Indo-Iranic-speaking populations. As part of the steppe tradition, the Kimmerians inherited a nomadic lifestyle, horse domestication, and metalworking techniques. The Kimmerians likely spoke a language from the Sitho-Kurgan branch of the Iranian language family, which was part of the broader Eastern Iranian group. Their linguistic ties suggest cultural and genetic affinities with other Iranian-speaking groups, such as the Scythians, though their specific dialect remains unknown due to a lack of written records. As nomads or semi-nomads, the Kimmerians built no permanent architectural structures. Instead, they relied on mobile dwellings, such as yurts or tent-like structures, suitable for their itinerant lifestyle on the open steppe. Their temporary settlements might have included animal enclosures and simple storage pits for grains or tools when they stayed in one location for extended periods. The Kimmerian society was organized around tribal and clan structures. They were likely governed by chieftains or warrior kings who led their tribes in military campaigns and controlled trade. Their economy was based on herding livestock, hunting, raiding, and trading, with horses playing a central role in both daily life and warfare. The warrior elite held significant status, as evidenced by burial practices emphasizing weapons and horse gear. The Kimmerians were fierce warriors known for their invasions and raids. The Scythians displaced the Kimmerians from their northern homeland, forcing them southward, where the Kimmerians fought for dominance among the Urartu, Assyrians, and Phrygians. Artifacts associated with the Kimmerians include iron swords, daggers, and spears, reflecting their prowess as warriors, burial mounds, or kurgans, similar to those of other steppe cultures, jewelry and decorative items, and pottery. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of four Kimmerians from 9th century before the Common Era, one from Ukraine, the rest from Moldova. I ran their DNA files through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here are their predicted phenotypes. CIM-357, MJ-32, and CIM-358 are male, but they carry different Y lineages. CIM-357 and MJ-32 carry Y lineages are 1A, Z93, whereas CIM-358 carries Y lineage Q1. CIM-359 is female. Regarding their phenotypes, all four samples had olive skin tone, Two samples had dark brown eye color, one sample had hazel, and one sample had regular brown eyes. Their hair textures varied from straight to kinky, and their nose shapes were evenly split between Greek and snub, with two samples being predicted to have Greek nose shape and two sample snub. Moving on to genetic predispositions, three of the four Chimerian individuals had high odds of various types of glaucomas. Two of the four Chimerians carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JIK2 gene. Two of the four Chimerians had high odds of myopia and thyroid cancer. Regarding conditions they were protected from, three of the four samples had low odds of prostate cancer. And although it isn't included in this screenshot, all four samples had below average odds of atrial fibrillation. Moving on to their blood types, two samples were conclusively predicted to belong to blood group O. MJ32 from Ukraine was predicted to belong to either blood group A or B, and CIM358's blood group prediction is inconclusive due to insufficient DNA coverage. Thank you for watching until the end. You can purchase these genomes as well as my trait predictor tool from the link in the video's description. Goodbye.